Hi! So hackathons usually are like 24 to 48 hours of pure coding, innovation, lots of caffeine, and very few showers. And so today I'll be taking you through a day in the life of a software engineer at a hackathon. So today I'm going to be going to Tree Hacks, which is one of the largest collegiate hackathons in the country, also hosted in Silicon Valley. I start my day very early in the morning, around 8 a.m., to get ready for the hackathon. I make myself a strawberry smoothie and think about some of the possible ideas that I could be working on at the hackathon. I also have a hidden agenda for this hackathon because I am specifically going to recruit a uh, founding machine learning engineer for my company. The plan is to print out a bunch of posters and then hang them up around the hackathon. Also, I plan to airdrop it to people who have their airdrops on and also talk to as many smart and promising folks as I can find. So I head out to our local office depot to print out these posters. How much is it? For which one? Is it? For which one's the cheapest one? Tree Hacks is organized by Stanford University, and it brings together thousands of the top students from around the world to Stanford to work on the craziest ideas for a whole weekend and win prizes of up to $160,000. I got to the hackathon around 5 p.m. and after waiting for over two hours in line, I finally got checked in and went to attend the welcome ceremony and also connect with my team. Excuse me, sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Is this another team spot? Oh, no, no. They're coming over there. So the projects that you work on at a hackathon are usually constrained to the prizes available. The companies who sponsor the hackathon usually have prizes for like the best AI project or the best healthcare project or the best safety and privacy project. And my team went after the privacy and safety category. So you know how there are a bunch of companies who are super unethical and don't really care about user privacy and safety. So we decided to build an easy way for users to unionize online and boycott these companies. The tech stack we're using for this is Superbase for the backend, React for the frontend, and a Chrome extension to block the websites that are boycotted. I decided to take a break around 4.30 a.m. to go recruit a founding machine learning engineer for my company. Recruiting was harder than I thought because you're in a room full of thousands of the top students from around the world. Like, how do you pick the best one? So I specifically decided to wait around 4 to 5 a.m. and look for the people who are still up, coding, and grinding, and go recruit those people because that shows dedication, it shows grit, which in my opinion, I think, is the most important personality needed at a startup. I was able to talk to a few people and decided to call it a night and get some sleep. I woke up around 9 a.m. the next morning. I had about three hours of sleep but for some reason I wasn't feeling tired at all. There's just something around the atmosphere at a hackathon that just gives you that extra boost of energy. Um, I hung up a few recruiting posters and went to freshen up and continue building. So TreeHacks had these workshops where sponsors and other people would speak and share ideas and demos. And as someone who works on AI, one of the workshops I decided to go to was the OpenAI workshop. Um, it was one of the most packed workshops. This was two months after ChatGPT came out, so the hype was very much alive. The workshop was a demo of how to do in-context learning 
when inferencing AI models with vector embeddings. I learned a ton from this hackathon and from this workshop, and this gave me insight into the possibilities of AI, which helped me shape the vision of my company very early on. I went back to coding to finish my portion of the project. I had already done most of the heavy lifting and now I'm mostly focusing on the CSS styling. I was taking a short break when I got word that there is some lightsaber battle going on, so I really had to check it out. After the hackathon, we had built a platform that allowed people to unionize online and boycott unethical websites. We called it Picket, referencing the concept of picket lines. So basically, you create petitions online on our web app for sites to boycott. These petitions will then be sent for approval to a board of experts. If the petition is approved, anyone who has the Chrome extension will see a digital picket line that blocks the website and provides alternative solutions and products to use. So that's it. That's what a day in the life of a software engineer at a hackathon really is like. It's a mix of talent, crazy ideas, long hours, but incredibly rewarding. And I also think one of the underrated benefits of hackathons is the networking. Imagine putting a bunch of super smart people in a building, like thousands of them, it's the perfect place to meet your next co-founder or your lifelong friend or someone who could potentially hire you in the future. I got to meet Andre Kapothi, uh, who's a super notable computer scientist. He led AI at Tesla and was also one of the founding members of OpenAI. Got to chat with him about AI stuff. I also met Ali Bertobi, who runs the Neo Accelerator and was also the co-founder of Code.org, which is one of the places I actually learned how to code. So if you ever get an opportunity to do a hackathon, go check it out. It's actually a very, very rewarding experience. See you in the next one. Bye.